I think the first step is we have to be trans transparent. And uh, I'm very active in uh, the Young Greens and we have to be open about that, right? Uh, and so are a few other members of Activist Handbook. Um, so there's, there's no point in denying that. Um, and the second is, do we want to welcome people who are, who are not member of the Green political party? And I, I think, of course, the answer is yes. Uh, but the reason that a lot of members are from the Greens is because um, in many ways, our, our way of thinking aligns. But that does not mean that uh, we are exclusively allowing a Green member, uh, Green party members. Yeah. 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 yeah, and I think also in in that um, uh, we are quite. I mean, we, we are like a, a Wikipedia like website, uh, the the platform itself. So I think there is the platform, the website that basically everyone could uh, contribute to, um, and then there is uh, the community around it that is more um, maybe the the harder core of, of uh, behind the people behind the platform. Um, so I think that for the, the, the platform itself, it's also um, automatically a bit more democratic or, or uh, free in that sense that uh, it is, yeah, everyone can use the, the knowledge and that is shared there yeah. and everyone can contribute. In, okay, in sure. Sure, sure, great. Um, so yeah, I love the layout of, of the website, of the wiki and the website. And I was amazed at how easy it was for me to add to it and, and make a contribution. And it was, a pers it was very fulfilling for me personally to contribute because I've never contributed to Wikipedia. So this is the first time I've contributed to a wiki. Um, but it did leave me with a big question. And the question is, how will this work on a basic level? Um, because Wikipedia is, generally speaking, it, it's kind of factual, it, it, or it's supposed to be factual information, whereas activism can be the source of a lot of debate and opinion about what works and so on. So I just wonder, um, how can you ensure that users don't just delete each other's content and how can you try and encourage them to be constructive and not just censor each other? And I guess that could be related to the role of moderators. How can you make sure that the moderators are really, really well trained so that they don't just censor something that might criticize the Green Party or, you know, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think there's really two, two questions in there. So first of all, how do we moderate um, contributions in the most basic way. Um, and uh, I think for that, we have set up a platform where every edit that is made is safe. So <laughs> if, if anyone deletes something, that's okay because it's still in the history and we can just yeah. put it. Um, but that's, that's a very technical answer of course, and doesn't really uh, answer, or answer fully your question. And that brings me to the second part which is, um, yeah, how, how do we moderate political discussions? Yeah. Um, and I think um, the website is, is very much um, based on uh, building practical knowledge. So how do you organize a process? Well, these are the steps. Um, but at the same time, you have uh, articles on uh, how to have in inclusive, uh, have an inclusive atmosphere within your movement. Um, and I think the first is, is very, uh, not very much connected to pol political discussions and you can quite easily write a guide on how to organize a protest effectively without uh, engaging in those kind of political discussions. Um, but the second of course is, is more um, concerned with that. Um, and I think for that, it is very important that we differentiate between what are, what are facts um, and what are uh, personal views and uh, personal experiences. Um, and I think that's also what Activist Handbook is about, right? Collecting uh, as many personal experiences from activists um, that adhere to our principles. 
um, these these very this very basic set of principles. Mm. Um, and um, by doing so, I think we just want to hear from as many activists as possible. Um, so, yeah, I, I think it's not a, not a, a matter of what are we going to delete? I, I don't want to delete anything unless it's very much in violation of, of our principles. Um, I think it's more how do we make sure that we reach out to all communities that we want to include? Um, because that is way more difficult. <laughs> uh, we, we started as a, as a European based organization. Yeah. Um, and for us, really, the focus right now is to grow in an international and inclusive way. 